everyone this is DTJ here and don't forget to subscribe and like I have over 160 videos of helpful and fun content with more on the way so today we are going to go over the Suica card how to get one and the advantages of getting one as well as some other tickets and passes that you can get at a JR station kiosk so without further ado let's get into it shall we so this is a regular run-of-the-mill ticket kiosk. It'll get you from point A to point B, and you're just doing it for mostly local travel. You already know the cost to get to the station. You don't want a Suica card. One of these simple paper tickets will do. And if you didn't know, you could also do a search for your destination train station when you purchase a regular ticket. They didn't have this feature years ago, so it's much easier to figure out where you are going now without everyone standing in front of the map and looking up. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's take it up a notch and go to the next tier of tickets. Now, this is an actual kiosk that dispenses Suica cards. They are at every JR station. JR stands for Japan Railways. And this massive company is divided into sectors such as JR West, JR Central, JR East, and they operate in those areas of Japan. They are the biggest railway company in Japan. This group owns most, if not all, the bullet trains and infrastructure. JR, give it up for them. Look for the Suica sign above the kiosk. So when you approach it, you will have the option to put the kiosk in English mode, Cantonese, Mandarin, or Korean. We are going to go ahead and choose English for the sake of this video. Next, you can choose whether or not you want to put your name on the card. and it says that they will reissue your card if you lose it. Agree to the terms and conditions. Enter the information requested. It costs an additional 500 to create the card, so insert 1,000 yen. After you do this, you will have a balance of 500 yen. Pick up your new Suica card. You did it, good job. Now, let's take it a step further. Let's purchase a green car pass. Now, a green car is a car on any JR operated train that has a green car emblem on it, and all of the seats on that car are reserved, so you don't have to fight over a seat, sitting room only, basically. Great for those salary men and women that don't feel like playing the sardine game in the morning. Been there, done that. For green card tickets though, they start at 780 yen a piece. So you notice my balance is only 500 yen. So it won't even go to the next window unless you have at least 780 yen balance on your card. And as you can see here, you can specify which line you want to purchase one for. Like I said, JR owns a lot of different lines. And again, even higher, let's go to the next tier of tickets. Now let's buy a flex pass for the Shinkansen. Now, this is not the same as the pass for tourists. 
here on temporary stay that is provided via the JR website no 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 and it's only valid for up to two weeks for a period of five days and they don't have to be consecutive this is different from that it sounds the same but it's not this is a ticket that you use to travel far distances quickly for one rider think of it like a commuter pass in conjunction with a green car pass Whoa, that's a lot of money, but hey, you get to work faster. And that's for a whole month, by the way. And lastly, let's book a for real, for real Shinkansen ticket for multiple people going all the way to the other side of the country from this teeny tiny kiosk at this little quiet and quaint JR station in Yokosuka, shall we? Pretty cool, huh? Now you can already see that this kiosk is different from the others right away. Just for laughs, we will pick a starting station of Tokyo. Yes, Tokyo is not just a city, it's also a district in its own city. So basically, what I'm saying is there's also a stop called Tokyo, even though you're already in Tokyo. I've made that mistake. Basically, if you're in Shinagawa, you're already in Tokyo. Now, one person, come on, let's add some more people. The more the merrier. Now see, if this is me buying these tickets, I might as well bring all four of my kids. So let's arrange that, and why not? Let's bring the wife. Whoa, all the way to Kagoshima, whew, that's far. Note, you have to hit the green circles outside the cars on the screen to actually select the car. <laughs> so don't walk away and don't give up. You can even pick your seats right here at the kiosk.
So to sum it all up, Suica cards are great to load lots of money and train fare on the one card. You can use them for drinks at the participating vending machines and stores as well. If you lose your card, you can get it reissued if you have your name on it, so do that, definitely. There are so many different types of passes and it can get really confusing, but hopefully you learned that you can manage most of that via the Suica system. Now, Suica is different from the Passmo in that the Passmo is issued from KQ Line kiosks only, and Suica cards are issued from JR kiosks only. So which one should you get? Well, they basically do the same thing and have some of the same perks, but you should get the card supported from the stations closest to your hotel or home so that you can manage it easier. You can transfer from one station to another station so as long as you go out the appropriate gate first. Otherwise, you will get the swing arms of shame. I'm DTJ. Like and subscribe. More videos on the way. Thanks for watching. DTL.